Shadowlands. It's the 8th expansion for World of Warcraft and many players are very excited for it. So what's new in Shadowlands? There are several new features in Shadowlands including several major system reworks like leveling. Shadowlands has switched the leveling system in half so the maximum level will be level 60. You'll level from 1 to 50 in the previous expansions and then level from 50 to 60 in Shadowlands. Another feature with the leveling rework is you can choose which expansion to level in as long as you have at least one character at level 50. Character customization has had an overhaul. You now have more options when customizing the look of your character. There are more skin tone options, more hairstyles and colors, and you can change your eye color. You can also completely change the look of your character in the barber shop, as the appearance change product in the wow shop has been removed and implemented into the barber system. There are no new classes in Shadowlands, however some classes have had reworks and most have been unpruned. Unpruned means that there are many spells returning that classes had access to in the past. For example, mages have altered time again and warlocks have curses. So what about new zones and story? Shadowlands is a realm where souls go in their afterlife. It's the heaven and hell of the Warcraft universe. Recent events in the Shadowlands has caused things to go way out of balance and could affect reality outside of the Shadowlands, causing chaos beyond our comprehension. This is why we're venturing into the Shadowlands to investigate what's happening. Shadowlands will appear as another world when you zoom all the way out on the in-game map. There are six new zones, the Capital City, the Four Covenant Zones, and the Moor. You'll level through each of these zones in a linear fashion as it will follow the in-game storyline. Covenants. As you level, you'll meet and do quests for four covenants, each being zone specific. Once you hit level 60 and finish a story quest, you'll pledge yourself to one of the four covenants. Each one will come with unique abilities and spells. You'll unlock soul binds, which are passive upgrades that enhance your character's power. You'll be able to get their unique looking sets of gear and unique mounts. Each covenant controls their own zone, so I recommend choosing the one that appeals to you the most. Professions. Professions received an overhaul, so they will be much more relevant and important. Crafters can craft more things than usual, and there'll be greater demand for their goods. The reason for this is crafters will be creating items required for legendary gear. Lots of resources like cloth, leather, ore, and herbs will be in great demand, so even gatherers will have no problem making gold. Legendaries will be similar to how they were in Legion, however they'll now be attained through professions rather than a random drop. You'll either craft or purchase a base legendary piece of gear, then you'll visit the rune crafter to craft it into a legendary item. Each type of legendary will require a recipe. Recipes come from all different types of content, so check out which recipe you need for your best legendary. The runecrafter can use other materials from professions that let you choose your stats for the legendary, but you'll also need a legendary material called Soul Ash. Soul Ash is earned for completing layers in Torghast. What is Torghast? Torghast is Shadowlands' biggest feature. It's a dungeon-like environment that you can do solo or in a group up to five players. It's a labyrinth-like system. You enter at a layer level, each layer will have six floors. As you go through each floor, you'll obtain various power upgrades called Anima Powers. These significantly boost your power while in the instance, and the more you find, the more powerful you become. This is pretty fun and will make each run of Torghast feel relatively unique. You'll also get a currency called Phantasma, which you get from looting enemies and breaking pots. On floors 3 and 6 there will be a vendor where you can spend your phantasma for more anima powers. Your phantasma and anima powers will only last in the instance, and they will expire once you finish or exit the instance. The end boss on the instance is on floor 6, and will drop the soul ash required to craft your legendary. Completing the layer successfully will unlock the next layer, which will be at a higher difficulty, but will reward additional soul ash. When it comes to dungeons raid and pvp, there are 8 new dungeons and a new raid in Shadowlands. More will open up over the course of the expansion. Mythic Plus will still be available for dungeons and will become available once the raid opens. PvP has had some system changes. High tier PvP gear will be able to be purchased from a PvP vendor with conquest points earned in raided PvP, and you can upgrade this gear with honor points. 
PvP gear will once again give you an advantage in PvP compared to PvE gear. This feature was in older expansions and got removed in Legion and BFA, but has now returned in Shadowlands which will make PvP feel more rewarding for PvP players. Loot has also had system changes. Titan forging and corruption have been removed completely, and drops from Mythic Plus dungeons and raids have been reduced. This will keep gearing up on your character more linear and balanced. You'll be able to target your desired pieces of gear without having to rely on RNG for that higher item level version with a socket. Sockets can now be purchased and placed on your gear instead. If you want the higher item level version of a piece of gear, you simply just do the higher difficulty content to earn it. System Upgrades Shadowlands has upgraded the custom engine that runs World of Warcraft. This means that there are now more graphic enhancements like ray tracing, and also optimization enhancements to smoothen out the gameplay. There are new sounds, music, and spell animations. That's most of the features covered. Of course, like every expansion, there is a whole heap of new content to do. I hope you now have a better idea of what Shadowlands has on offer. Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video, give it a like and hit subscribe for more content from the channel. And feel free to check out my own personal channel, Ragnarok. I hope to see you all in Shadowlands.